gentlemen, welcome to Wrestling Rants and Reviews. As always, I'm your host, Big Mike. This is episode 27, and this is your review and results for SmackDown as of March 25th. And uh, here we go. SmackDown starts out tonight with a WrestleMania Rewind match. Uh, CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio. And uh, it's a very good match. Very good opener. Sorry about the pause there. <laughs> Lost train of thought. But anyways, it was a very good opener. Solid match. Um, good back and forth action. Um, they each were having a great match until Cody Rhodes came out and interfered and uh, gave the beat down, I guess you can say, to Rey Mysterio. Uh, trying to mess up his face the same way as Rey Mysterio messed up Cody's. Uh, Cody revealed a knee brace. And uh, stuck it to Ray's face. Um, and that was the end of that. Then we go to the backstage segment with Teddy Long talking to Edge. Stating that Edge... That uh, Edge cannot touch Del Rio for nine days going into WrestleMania. Or he'll be suspended from WrestleMania. He will not be able to attend the show. Um, Edge told... Or Christian told Edge not to come out when he faces Del Rio. Yeah, so we'll see what happens there. We also are informed that Undertaker will address Triple H tonight on SmackDown. And that'll be later on. Next up we have a match with Edge. With a rematch, I guess you can say, or another week um, fighting Drew McIntyre. Um, Edge won via submission, I guess you can call it a reverse sharpshooter or whatever he does, education. Or is it the execution? Um, I'm not sure. Or the educator, who knows? <laughs> it probably starts with an edge, anyways. But and again, another good matchup with Edge and Drew McIntyre. Um, edge is a ring general, and he's making Drew McIntyre look like a million bucks. So that's good. But again, um, another solid matchup. Um, from there, we go to Lay Cool. Um, Lay Cool versus Kelly Kelly and Rosa Mendez. Uh, this was a pretty much a short. Very short match. Lay Cool just came out there making fun of Snooki. Um, it ended up just being Layla and Rosa in the ring, I guess, because Michelle still got the injury of her foot. So Kelly and her fought to the outside, while Layla took care of Rosa on the inside very quickly. After the match, they just again uh, reminded everybody that they're fighting, who they're fighting at WrestleMania, and how bad they suck. And Snooki may be famous, but she'll never be flawless. Um, again, short match. That's a diva match to be expected. Um, nothing great. Nothing great. But uh, nonetheless, um, a good segment, I guess, from Lake Cool. I can't seem to get enough of them. I don't know. I like their I like their stick. I like their gimmick. Uh, I think it works. Um, totally, um, totally uh, big time heels. And uh, I, I don't know. I like it. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a vignette for the core, what kind of havoc, they, or havoc they've been wreaking on SmackDown. And uh, up next we have Wade Barrett fighting Kofi Kingston for the Intercontinental title. Um, long story short, another great match. <clears throat> I don't know what it is with SmackDown, but I'm really liking SmackDown right now. Um, their matches seem to be dominating what Raw is doing, for, that's for sure. Um, there seems to be a lot more wrestling, and when the wrestling is on SmackDown... They seem to be having great matches, but uh, this match ended with Wade Barrett beating Kofi Kingston, and he's the new Intercontinental Champion. Um, I, I personally like this. I think they could be going in a good direction here, um, and I'll talk about that probably in my next episode, which will be next, episode 28, um, on my direction of the Intercontinental title and the U.S. title, uh, but Shane is winning that also. Uh, we go back to the back. Teddy Long told Del Rio the same thing he told Edge. No physical contact between the two before WrestleMania. Uh, or the instigators out of the title match at WrestleMania. Um, Undertaker then came out for his uh, promo. He only stayed at the top of the ramp, which sucks. If I was there, I would have been upset. You know, I want to see the Undertaker in the ring. I want to see his entrance. I want to see him make his appearance. Not just stand at the top of the ramp. Saying the, same, saying the same thing week in and week out. Triple H, I will rest, put you in the ground. You know, uh, I will beat you. You're just going to be another number. 
you're gonna die trying, rest in peace, you know, like, same old, same old. The vignette that they showed prior to that, I think, maybe was before the Lego match, um, when they had all the superstars and legends speaking of the, of the streak and of the match at WrestleMania between him and Triple H, between Undertaker and Triple H. That is better than either one of their promos trying to put themselves over for the match at WrestleMania. Um, after this, we have Jack Swagger against R-Truth. Uh, why R-Truth? I don't know. Why is he on SmackDown? have no idea. But Jack Swagger beats R-Truth. And again, not a bad match. Um, pretty good match. It wasn't the, one of the best ones on the mat, or on the card, that's for sure. But uh, definitely did what they needed to do. Swagger over R-Truth. Uh, Michael Cole came in. You know, put the ankle lock on our truth, yada, yada, yada. You know, getting their stuff ready for WrestleMania. Michael Cole then said, let's do a victory rap, lap. They did the whole uh, Soaring Eagle around the ring. And that was that. We come back and we got Christian who's coming out to the ring with Edge to fight Del Alberto Del Rio with uh, Ricardo Rodriguez and Brodus Clay. Um... Very good matchup again, though. Very good main event. Always good to see Christian in the spotlight and the limelight. Um, Del Rio, um, I'm totally convinced that he can be a major player. He may even win the title at WrestleMania, and that wouldn't bother me one bit. Um, and I'm, I'm an Edge fan. I'm a huge Edge fan, not just because I'm huge, but, uh, you know, uh, Del Rio is a, a great heel, and I, I think he would do well with the title. Um, so that concludes SmackDown. All in all, um, I think it's a good SmackDown. It's only nine days out of WrestleMania. Um, some great matches. Um, the matches that were basically promos, I guess, like the Lake Cool match. Short and sweet, unlike Raw, where it's all promos and boring and long. Um, SmackDown, I think, is slowly turning into the A show, in my opinion, anyways. Uh, they may not have Cena's or Triple H's or Randy Orton's. But uh, it's a wrestling show. It definitely is a wrestling show. And uh, their matches are definitely showing that. So uh, thanks for tuning in to Wrestling Rants and Reviews. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and all the good stuff. And we'll see you for episode 28.